Putin faces mass protest, arrests 1,700 as a Navalny fades in prison. And Navalny, we've been covering this story for a while. Navalny is in prison basically for being an opposition leader to Vladimir Putin. So this is, this is how the Russians operate. Now, I want to I stress that these types of stories, that the corporate nationalists in the West are more than happy to cover these stories, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't cover the story just because the corporate nationalists are using it to vilify Russia. In this case, and by Russia, it's really like it's Putin, Putin, Russia, Putin's Russia. So Putin's Russia. Uh, but in this case, Putin's Russia d- deserves a little vilification. But don't let this vilification of Putin's Russia trick you into believing that you should somehow support uh, the United States and the West and Turkey and whatnot getting their little fingers on the Crimea. Uh, because that is a, a, a fundamental it's a, it's a fundamental threat to the nation state of Russia to have f- these types of powers opposed to them in charge of the Crimea. So they can't they can't let this stand. So I just want to put that out there and well, well, let's get to the actual story here. So this is uh, Russia Navalny Putin protest. The top story I picked here was from Axios. Putin warns the West as Russia police detain almost 1,800 Navalny protesters. You know what happens when you have reigned for a long time? It doesn't happen often, but, well, I mean, it doesn't ha- happen all the time, but it happens more often than not. As you get into a long reign, and Putin has been in, in power for 20 whatever years it's been, you get a lot more paranoid. And one of the reasons you get a lot more paranoid is because you killed a lot of people. And so you got a lot of family members and friends and whatnot out there that are not happy about all the people you killed. And it gets in your head. And I think a part of it is also uh, because the spirit of the Lord, you know, the truth of the Lord is in all of us, even atheists. You have the truth of the Lord in you. And that is what convicts you of your your moral sins. So I think in part Putin's own moral sins are convicting him. And that makes him he knows he has to be protected. And I think he's getting a little bit unhinged. Uh, and we'll see. I'll, I'll show you why here. Uh, so this is from this is from Yahoo News, but let's see. It's really from Axios. Okay, that's right. Oh, I did put that Axios. Security forces detain at least 1,700 supporters of the jailed hunger striking Kremlin critic Alexei Navalny amid protests across Russia Wednesday, according to the independent monitoring group Ovid Info. The big picture, at least 30 protesters were arrested in Moscow, 805 in St. Petersburg, and 119 in the Ural city of Ufa, or Ufa, however you say it, among dozens of other cities, the group estimates. Should Joe Biden sanction Russian oligarchs to save Alexei Navalny from Mother Jones? And David Korn is writing, Alexei Navalny returned to Russia in January, uh... Okay, you're just going to get let our journalists. We're not, we don't want to hear that. So what do you have to say here? As for the health of Alexei Navalny, the imprisoned Russian opposition leader deteriorates with his allies warning he may be nearing death. His His advocates in Russia and the West are calling for the Biden White House to take a bold step in countering Vladimir Putin, slapping sanctions on Putin's oligarchic oligarch cronies. Navalny, who last year survived a Russian effort to poison him, was sent to prison in February on a 2014 conviction that the European Court of Human Rights ruled in 2017 was a result of an unfair trial. After not receiving medical care for several back pain and severe back pain and the loss of feeling in his legs, he began a hunger strike. On Sunday, he was transferred from a penal colony to a prison hospital. His lawyer has reported he is in dire condition. His doctor noted he was at risk for kidney failure and cardiac arrest. So he could be near death. And that that will really well. I mean, horror. I'm I'm praying for him, and of course, but uh, uh, and I would support the Russians rising up and replacing Putin and the oligarchs with uh, actual something approaching more representational government of some form. Uh, I don't think that'll happen anytime soon. But I'm certainly not in favor of using this as a weapon to try to encourage the West to continue to muddle in the affairs of Ukraine. And by Ukraine, I mean the Crimea. Let's, let's be sure, clear. If Ukraine wasn't attached to Crimea, this would be a non-issue for the Russians. At least 1,700 protesters in Russia arrested after nationwide anti-Putin rallies from NPR.org. 
Vladimir Putin makes bizarre claim in annual speech. They're pecking on us. Well, what else is he going to say? That's what that's what world leaders do. But but he's just he, usually he's very measured. He's a very intelligent man. And when he speaks, it's like it's almost like a political theorist speaking. He's got that kind of level. He probably could have been a philosopher. He's a very, very intellectual man. So when he speaks like this, this is uh, I think the man's coming a little bit unhinged. And uh, like I said, I think it's because he's had a long reign, killed a lot of people. Got a lot of dead bodies around and uh, a lot of families and friends that are, you know, of, of these dead bodies that uh, he knows he has to watch his back on. And then never mind that the quote unquote West will, you know, we're really the corporate nationalists. The West is mostly controlled by corporate nationalism, Europe and America. So that's pretty much what he's facing. Uh, so he's claimed that the world is picking on Russia in an extraordinary claim at the annual presidential speech. Speaking to a packed room for his annual address to the Federal Assembly, Assembly, President Putin said the international community is picking on Russia without any reason. The Russian president's bizarre tirade went on to insist his country just wants to have good neighborly relations with the international community before branding them rude and unfriendly. Putin suggested talking about Russia was a new sport for the international community before stressing that Russia are really modest. His extraordinary comments come as the Kremlin shared footage of a missile being fired in the Black Sea yesterday. There you go. Coupling his unjust regime with Ukraine. They're all unjust regimes. Ukraine is an unjust regime. America is an unjust regime. The UK is an unjust regime. They're all unjust regimes. In, in the West, they're largely unjust because they are controlled, especially right now, by corporate nationalists, fascistic corporate nationalists. And in Russia, well, they're, they're good old-fashioned nation-state uh, fascistic-type uh, folks. Fascism uh, of, of the quote-unquote left and the right variety are the the uh the the weapon of choice for those in power and we have vladimir or a u.n expert says life in danger calls for medical evacuation this is referring to navalny this is from cnbc.com protests for alexei navalny held across russia amid fears for his death abc news putin vows a quick and tough russian response for its foes from times of india and finally russia arrests over 1,000 at rallies for hunger strike striking navalny from News 24. That's the end of your report.